Okay, so the magic of an Apple Watch is watchOS, and watchOS is the core of the Apple Watch SE, which means that the most essential aspects of an Apple Watch are in the Apple Watch SE. Things like the Activity app, an app that helps you be more motivated during the day, the Workout app to track all of your workouts to see all of your stats and all of your numbers of your workouts. Apps like the Weather app and Maps are very useful to have them right on your wrist. Being able to answer phone calls right on your wrist, replying to text messages. That is all here with the Apple Watch SE. So the most essential things of an Apple Watch are built right into the Apple Watch SE. We get the same digital crown, which is probably the most satisfying thing for me of an Apple Watch built for basically navigating through the Apple Watch. Okay, so what's the deal? What's the catch? What are we missing out on when we're buying an Apple Watch SE instead of an Apple Watch Series 6? And there's quite some things that might be not important to some people, might be some important to some people, they might be important for you. Let's talk about what we're missing out on. First and most importantly for me, I can't live without my always on display. The always on display is so, so, so useful. It basically acts like a watch. Having on an always on display means that your display will never actually turn off. So on the Apple Watch SE, in order to look at the time or in order to actually use your watch, you will have to pull up your wrist or you can just tap on your watch and the display will actually turn on. It's something that I've personally gotten used to, but it doesn't mean that you have to, that you need an always on display. A bunch of people do not have an always on display. Some people don't even like having on an always on display so it's up to you if you don't really care on having an always on display you're gonna be perfectly like super perfectly happy with an Apple Watch SE. What else are we missing out on? A couple of health features including ECG. You will not be able to take electrocardiograms on the Apple Watch SE, which is fine for most people. It's not fundamentally important until you actually get something. Like for me, I haven't really used the ECG, but I've taken a couple ECGs, but I've known so many people that the ECG feature has actually saved their lives. I actually interviewed somebody in the channel that um, the ECG feature actually saved his life. If you guys wanna check out that interview, it will be linked up right here. The brand new Blood Oxygen app is also exclusive to the Series 6. You will not be getting it on the SE. Blood Oxygen, once again, it's like another health feature that it's great that it's there, but if you don't have it, you're probably gonna be fine without it. The Series 6 is also faster, but by no means I'm saying that the SE is slow. The SE performs so, so incredibly well. On the Series 6, it's so fast, you're literally never gonna be waiting on an app to open or an animation to load on the SE. That might happen, but it's so incredibly fast as well. Now, one of the big problems that people have seen on the Apple Watch E is the materials that the Apple Watch SE comes with. The Apple Watch SE comes in space gray, gold and silver aluminum. It does not come in stainless steel. This is the Apple Watch Series 6 in gold stainless steel, so it's like pretty shiny. You will not be getting these premium finishes, so if you want an Apple Watch for work, for example, you wanna have a premium feel, the Apple Watch SE might not be for you, but other than that, if you're fine with an aluminum watch, you're gonna be so incredibly happy with. The Apple Watch bands are of course interchangeable, so if you guys wanna have a different look every single day, you guys can do that by changing your Apple Watch band. Which by the way, if you guys are interested in buying an Apple Watch band, be sure to check out today's sponsor, which is the Vegan Loop. The Vegan Loop is a leather Apple Watch band that is 100% vegan, it is 100% animal cruelty free. With this band, it actually feels like leather. Like it's not one of those cheap bands that you find on eBay and that you're like, okay, this is not real leather. The vegan loop actually feels like leather. You just have to touch it in your hands to actually, it's honestly unbelievable. So if you guys are interested in the vegan loop, links are in the description. And yeah, that's it. The reading that I'm gonna give the Apple Watch SE is five out of five lemons. The Apple Watch SE is simply incredible. It's everything that you need on the Apple Watch, all the essentials, except maybe the always on display is something that is very important to some people. It's definitely something that is very important for me. Okay, so that's it. Let me know in the comments down below right now. Are you team Apple Watch SE or are you team Apple Watch Series 6? And I'll see you in the next one. Let's go, baby.